Hey guys, first and foremost, thank you guys for clicking on this video. You guys definitely won't regret it. For the people who don't know me, my name is Jasmine, aka Jazz Hustles, and I am a 20 year old entrepreneur who started selling on Amazon in the beginning of this year. And I guess I can say I was pretty successful in it as a newbie because I've never done anything like this before, but I'm still working and trying to scale my business to the fullest it can be. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I exactly ungated my grocery and beauty personal care category. I also ungated Nike and Lego as well. Basically, ungating is a process that every Amazon seller has to go through. Amazon is really strict with counterfeit items being sold on their platform or unauthentic items. So this is what they do to ensure sellers are not selling any fake products. So basically, you have to buy 10 units from a wholesaler or distributor of a product that sells on Amazon and the store that you're getting it from to ungate a category or a brand. When you're looking for a product to use to ungate, it doesn't necessarily have to be profitable because we're really just using this product to ungate the category or brand. And you can also return the 10 units if they're not profitable to the store you brought it from. If you did find a profitable item, then that's perfect because you can use it to ungate and you can also make money off of it, reselling it on Amazon. So you have to order online from a wholesaler or distributor like Target, Kohl's, Frontier Wholesale, and you can't purchase the 10 units in store or have them being picked up because Amazon needs an invoice from the wholesaler or distributor. And there's no way you're gonna get an invoice for an in-store purchase. They have to see your address on there so it has to be delivered to your house. And there's no exceptions with that. The invoice has to have the combined purchase of 10 units. It doesn't have to show the pricing information you can just cross that out. The invoice has to show the same address on your Amazon selling account. It has to have your name or your business name on the invoice and it has to have the wholesaler's contact information and store name. So if we were to use target.com to ungate their invoices or online rather than Frontier Wholesale, which is how I personally got ungated, they send paper invoices in the box when it gets delivered to your house. For Target, sometimes there's a maximum purchase limit. So let's say that you were trying to buy like 10 lip balms to get ungated for beauty and personal care from Target and their max is like five, you can do two orders. So then you have to provide two invoices for Amazon. They just have to see a combined purchase of 10 units total. So I'm going to show you guys how to open up a selling application as well. I just want to let you guys know that sometimes they will deny people. When I first started off on getting a grocery category, I got denied three times and they accepted my fourth application and I sent in all the same documents. I just took different pictures of the teas. I just kept taking pictures of the stash tea that I purchased to get ungated in groceries. And I just kept taking a picture of the invoice and the products and they ended up accepting me. But of course there's gonna be Amazon workers that go through applications every day. So they might not, so they might take a while to approve you. And if you just keep getting denied, then you just have to keep applying. So I also wanted to talk about the strict brands on Amazon. I am able to sell a lot of grocery items in the grocery category of Amazon, but there is gonna be a few strict brands here and there that I'm not able to sell, meaning that I would have to ungate the brand itself. So for instance, I went to Walmart the other day and I saw a Starbucks item that was on clearance and I would make a lot of profit off of it, but I did see that they wanted me to provide an invoice. So at that time, I just put it down because it was only one product and I was at Walmart but if I really wanted to sell that product all I would have to do is purchase 10 Starbucks items from target.com get the invoice from Target and ungate the Starbucks brand so then I can sell that one clearance item but I yeah I just ended up putting it down because it was only one unit if there's multiple units I probably would have but yeah I would suggest new sellers to start off with the grocery category because it is easier to ungate rather than the beauty and personal care because when ungating the beauty and personal care there's not really like a full ungating beauty and personal care step like it's not like grocery category where it'll tell you that you were approved for the grocery category it's not going to say that so for my Burt's Bees lip balm that I used to ungate the beauty and personal care category it just said that I ungated the brand 
the Burt's Bees brand, but I'm actually able to sell a few beauty and personal care items, but it never told me that I was fully ungated in the beauty and personal care category because there's no way you can do that because there's a lot of brands out there that are really strict and because a lot of people make fake products mainly in the beauty and personal care category, I always recommend people to ungate the grocery category because there's not much counterfeit grocery items. Like no one is going to give you fake Doritos, you know, like what? But yeah, so I'm able to sell most beauty and personal care items. Like the big brands that I'm not able to sell right now unless I actually ungate the brand, like Neutrogena, CeraVe, Cetaphil, Tarte, like those, all of those are ones that I am not currently selling because I never really ungated those brands. But yeah. And there's also something called manual ungating. Sometimes when I'm on like a grocery category item on Amazon and it says no on like the seller amp software where it says I'm eligible, I would just have to go down where it says manual ungating and seller amp and then it automatically takes me to my Amazon seller central and then it basically automatically approves me once I request approval and I don't have to provide any invoices because I am ungated in the grocery category. Sometimes it will ask me to watch a video and answer a few questions and I would automatically get approved so I suggest every new seller start the ungating process before even trying to source products because it's gonna be really hard trying to look for products that you can automatically sell right off the bat after your account is approved I suggest everyone start their ungating process as quick as possible so then you can start selling many different varieties of items and products okay so this is the product that i used to ungate my grocery category i bought 10 stash teas from frontier wholesale so if you guys do have an loc then you guys can use frontier wholesale the same website that i use to ungate my beauty and grocery category but if you don't have an loc you can use target so i'm just going to show you both ways so if you do have an loc you're gonna want to go to Frontier Co-op Wholesale Store. There's two websites. There's Frontier Co-op and there's Frontier Co-op Wholesale Store. Make sure to go to the one where it says Wholesale Store and then you're gonna create a new company account. So it's gonna be right here. And you're going to want to get the co-op membership account, which is a one-time $10 activation fee. So they're only gonna charge you once um, $10 for lifetime membership. I rather suggest you don't do this one because if you are a non-member, they are going to charge you more for your products when you place an order because you're not a member with them. So it's, it's just better to get the co-op membership account. So you're going to press this, get started. And for company name, you can just put your Amazon store name for type of business. You can either put like grocery, or web retailer or retail business and then it's gonna ask you for your TIN your taxpayer ID your EIN or your social security number I use my SSN when I made my account and then it's basically just gonna ask basic information like your address a few times, your billing address, your first name, last name. You're just gonna put your signature here and then you're going to put your address again. And then it's gonna ask you for your card information so then they can charge you the $10. And then once you press submit for approval, you should automatically get approved. There should be no problems and you should be able to make your account and place your order for ungating the same day. I purchased the peppermint stash tea from this website. I don't see it on here right now, but you don't have to choose the same item as me. You just have to make sure that the product that you, you are using to ungate is selling on Amazon. It was like $40, $50 for me to purchase the 10 units because they do charge shipping for this website. So then once you get your units and it gets delivered to your house, like I said, they're gonna provide you the invoice in the box okay so this is my invoice for the lip balms that i purchased that i used to ungate but it looks just like this so it has all of the information that amazon needs to ungate you so you can see here that i purchased 10 burt's bees hemp's lip balm 10 each and i got ungated for my beauty category kind of let me show you the target way 
So basically you just purchased a tea or purchase anything that's in the grocery category that is selling on Amazon. You can purchase this Yoji tea. I know that works. Tazo tea you can as well. And then they provide the invoices online. So then once it gets delivered to your house, you are able to check on the invoice. You're gonna go to order details on the website and then you're gonna click here where it says view invoice. So it doesn't have to be printed out. You can just save it as a PDF and download it to your computer. So this is basically what a target invoice looks like. Once you have your invoice ready, your pictures ready, once you have the items in hand in your house. So let's just say I was using this um, product to ungate something. You would have to take a picture of each side of the product. You can add as much pictures in the application as you want. They basically just want to see that you have the product and you are able to take a picture of every side of the product. So once you have your pictures and all of that, you're going to go to the listing of the product that you're using to ungate. And then you're going to copy the ASIN on the top here. If you do have seller amp, then you can find the ASIN here, but you can also find it up here. So every ASIN starts with a B, the three lines on the top, catalog and add products. And then you're going to paste your ASIN on here. And then it's gonna say request approval. But for me, I am already ungated, so it's letting me sell this product. But for you, it's basically just gonna be new and request approval. This is gonna be the same thing with ungating beauty and personal care as well. Once you have the 10 beauty items, you're going to do the same thing that I'm doing right now. You can also check on recurring like selling applications by going to catalog and view selling applications to see if you were approved or not, but they will email you. Okay, so basically this is what a selling application looks like. If you were to ungate the grocery category, it would say the brand of the product that you're using. So in my case, it would have been stash tea and then it's gonna say grocery category. And then you're going to input all the pictures of your invoice and all the pictures of your product on here where it says drop files. And you're gonna make sure all of this information is on the invoice and everything is correct. And then sometimes it's gonna ask you to watch a quick video. And then you're gonna put your email address and your phone number and you're gonna press submit. This is gonna be the exact same thing for every time you're ungating. So you guys can actually use Kohl's to ungate Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, anything that has to do with like apparel, shoes, any of that, you can use Kohl's to ungate. You can also use Dick's Sporting Goods and Champs. You just have to make sure that the store you're using to ungate, they provide invoices. I personally use Kohl's to ungate. I've personally used Frontier Wholesale to ungate. I know many people got accepted using Target.com to ungate. So you just have to ask and if you're you're not too sure then before ordering from that store call support ask them if they provide invoices for your order so then you won't have to waste your time with a wholesaler or distributor who doesn't provide invoices because amazon needs invoices so then you can get approved when i ungated nike i used 10 baby nike socks because it was kind of cheaper rather than buying 10 units of shoes so that's what i did and it wasn't profitable so i ended up returning it back and so i also purchased 10 lego keychain from the lego site itself so then i can ungate the lego brand and also be able to sell a few toy items it didn't ungate the full toy category but i am able to sell a few toy items like i said you can also ungate otc medication using target.com i actually personally never ungated OTC. I remember trying to ungate OTC, but when I bought, I bought 10 small like Tylenols from Target and when they got delivered to my house, the listing ended up getting deleted. So I wasn't even able to make an application. So that's why it's really important to remember to make sure that that product you're using to ungate is currently selling on Amazon and there's like an active listing for it because you have to have the ASIN for it. And if there's no listing for it, there's not going to be an ASIN to make an application, to open up a selling application. Oh, also, let's say that they deny you the fourth time when it actually got accepted for the grocery category. You know where it, I, it says like optional comments in the application. I just put, please look at these documents. They are the required documents and invoices to get approved. And I don't know if that did anything, but I ended up getting approved the day after I said that. So it doesn't hurt to leave a comment so the Amazon worker can see it and read it and actually be like, hmm, let me look more into this seller and let me not play with this seller because maybe she does have the right invoices and documents to get ungated. I shouldn't be giving her more stress, but I think that's it. Um, 
time for the closeout. So that's it for ungating. I hope you guys get approved quickly. If this video helped you out, make sure to like it up. And if it didn't really help you out, then make sure to like it up as well. Because why would you dislike my video? You guys should definitely check out my previous videos. They will give you a better understanding of what I do and this whole Amazon business. And you'd probably be able to become really an expert if you start watching my videos and following my journey. So then you can learn from my mistakes and you can learn all of the knowledge that I am teaching you guys today. Also, make sure to connect with me more following my Instagram and my TikTok. I post on those every day. I'm really excited to continue providing useful content for you guys every Friday. If you guys do have any video suggestions, video suggestions, I can't say suggestion, suggestion, suggestions, suggestions. I can't say suggestions with my brace on, but you guys know what I'm saying. If you guys have any video recommendations, hey, here we go. If you guys have any video recommendations, make sure to put them down in the comments. And since you're there already, I want you to comment the word hustle if you finish the end of this video. No, I used that word already. Let's comment the word boss so that I know that you guys reached the end of this video. So go ahead and subscribe, push that bell so then you can get notifications on whenever I post. That's enough of my talking, but thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Pull up skirt, get in the right. Left hand is steering, the other is gripping your thighs. Light up the spiff and get high. Shout it, you.